When will Boeing's Starliner spacecraft finally take humans into space? That's the question we've all been asking for a very long time, and hopefully we'll know the answer very soon, according to NASA's latest update on X, formerly known as Twitter. And that's what we're gonna talk about here on this space news drop right here in the Orbital Alliance. Hey everybody, it's Nick from the Orbital Alliance, and in today's space news drop here, I am going to be sharing with you some of NASA's most exciting posts that they've made today at the top of the month, August 1st, 2023, right on X, the everything app, which, as I mentioned, used to be Twitter, of course, so if, I, if you hear post on X, I basically mean a tweet. Uh, but they made a rapid fire succession of, of posts today, and I wanna share the top three that I found the most interesting with you. Of course, the first being the one giving an update regarding Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. So here's the post on X, and I'm gonna read it to you here. It says, NASA and Boeing space leaders will provide a progress update on Monday, August 7th, on Starliner's first crew flight test, which will carry two NASA astronauts on a demonstration flight to the International Space Station. Boeing Starliner has been plagued with issues and delays ever since the beginning, which has been really unfortunate because it's been sort of in competition with SpaceX Dragon. Both got signed on to be the craft that are gonna be doing crewed missions to the space station from American soil. SpaceX has been delivering their upcoming on their seventh launch for NASA, which I'll be talking about in a second. But Boeing has yet to complete its second flight test, its orbital flight test, which is supposed to have test pilots, crews on it. It was supposed to happen a while ago, there's been delays. They got it to go to the space station uncrewed, which was a huge win, uh, but now due to more technical issues, they've been struggling to get that next flight test happening. So on August 7th, according to NASA, we might get that final juicy update we've all been waiting for, that NASA will be finally launching people, their own astronauts aboard, Boeing Starliner. So stay tuned for more on that. And of course, speaking of commercial crew contracts, SpaceX has been delivering humans to space for several years now. I believe their first launch was in 2020, and they actually have been quite successful getting crews to and from the International Space Station safely. And NASA made the next update regarding the commercial crew program saying, launch update. NASA and its commercial and international partners are targeting no earlier than 5.23 a.m. Eastern time on Monday, August to 21st, 2023, for SpaceX Falcon 9 to launch Crew 7 to the International Space Station. And then they have some links for you to click on to learn more. And that's pretty exciting because we've been seeing crews rotate on the space station, both through Russia and now through SpaceX over the last couple of years. And this is just the next installment of that. Now, what's unique about the Crew 7 mission is that each of its four members are actually from different countries, which I don't think has happened in almost 20 years or so. I'd have to fact check myself there. Uh, there's a space shuttle launch that had completely diverse crew members and now that's gonna be the case here. So it's gonna be really cool to see all these international partners cooperating on one mission and going to the space station together. I believe there's going to be an American, a Japanese astronaut, a European astronaut, and a Russian cosmonaut, all in the same capsule being friends and working together, which is like the best thing ever. So this is a massive win for space, and I hope we see more missions just like this. And the third and final news bit that I wanna share with you from NASA is regarding the Artemis II mission that's coming up, hopefully in the next year or so. The four astronauts of the Artemis II flight around the moon will join NASA Administrator Bill Nelson for an update on their training and preparations for the historic mission. Tune in Tuesday, August 8th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, and then they post a link for you to view for more information. Now, if you're unaware of NASA's Artemis II mission and its purpose, I'd recommend watching this video that I posted a couple of months ago, just after they announced the crew for the mission. And in that video, I explain a little bit more about what that means and how it's going to impact humanity, which is pretty cool. Now, because the Artemis program is so new, it is moving quite slowly. So I think getting any news regarding this program or the next flight is gonna be something that we're all gonna wanna hear. So I would recommend definitely tuning into what NASA has to say about this one. And hopefully the training is going well and that the astronauts are becoming competent and prepared for whatever challenges are going to come along their way when they go around the moon, not on the moon, they're gonna land on the moon, they're just gonna go around the moon and come back. Uh, but hopefully they have an update on a launch window, which would be one of the coolest things we can hear. So in terms of flights and crews and things, we've got quite a spread of awesome news regarding space missions. So again, Boeing Starliner, 
Crew 7, and Artemis 2. And this is quite the time to be alive. I think 2024 is gonna be a really exciting year for spaceflight. Looking forward to all three of these missions being successful. And that's all the space news I have for you here right at the top of August. Let me know in the comments, which of these three space flights are you the most excited to see happen? And if you found this update useful, I would appreciate your subscription right here on the Orbital Alliance. Thanks for watching and I will see you all on the other side.